Hey y'all, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Today I want to do it like a chit chat, get ready with me. I haven't recorded in a while, so why not come back with a bang, right? So first I'm going to prep my... Yeah, that's why chit chat, get ready with me. Do never work, y'all right, my kid. So funny. But anyway, I'm going to use MAC Studio Moisture Cream. I have found this to be the best thing ever for my skin. And what I like to do, y'all, and like stipple it on my face with my finger. And then take a clean beauty sponge, beauty blender, beauty whatever, and just like gently pat it into my face. I'm doing my brows off camera, come back because there's nothing new. So, while I'm finishing up my final little touches. I just want to talk to y'all about my Morphe Brush Club subscription. And like how the first time I received brushes, it was like wonderful. And like ever since the first, uh, the first box has just been, I'm like the last on the totem pole to get my brushes. And I'm supposed to be one of the first people to get my purple my purchase so that's kind of sucky but I just take it to the fact that they're a new new they're a new subscription provider because I still get my brushes they have awesome customer service so that's how y'all gonna get out these brows today and yeah got a whole year with them so hopefully it gets better and today I'm going to use some of their brushes so I'm not going to do a brush video this month and I didn't do one last month because of what was all going on in my life today my eyebrows pretty sick but it's just one of those days so now I'm going to prime my eyeballs and I'm going to use this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm also going to be using some new products today. So yeah, nothing special about this. Just going to rub it into our fingers, dot it on our eyeballs, and then use this brush from Morphe. It's the M334 and kind of blend it out. Next, I'm going to go into the highly anticipated, the always sold out, Sweet Peach Palette. And it smells so good. <laughs> it does smell like peaches. And it is so pretty. So first, I'm going to go into Peaches and Cream. It's right true. And I'm just going to lightly like, dust it over my eyeball area. Some of the eyeshadow primer was a little spot. Well, just in case the eyeshadow primer was still wet somewhere. This right here is just going to mat it out. Just to make sure that the colors are not spotchy when they go on my eye. And so next I'm going to Parade. I don't have a look that I'm going for. Kind of like a Coachella festival. I don't know. Y'all just getting ready with me. So Coachella is on my mind. I did do some research on Coachella. And I think that Coachella is going to be on my bucket list. Because I think I am a hippie at heart. And Guns and Roses started this like in 1993. 1995, one of those years. And, yeah. They were mad at Ticketmaster for charging so much. And if you go through Ticketmaster, you know their fees are ridiculous. So that was the whole point of Coachella. So now everybody is in it. It's not just rock bands. Um, I heard Ray Shimurda was there this year. A um, few years back, Bone Thug was in Harmony, just everybody. I think Backstreet Boys went too. It was like a reunion. They had a reunion at Coachella. So, yeah. Just 
a lot of people on the grass having fun. Really pretty. I saw some reviews. And I don't know, I'm not into the darker colors. They said the darker colors don't blend well, but these lighter colors are doing excellent. So, I'm going to go into Summer Yum. You know, the whole build up thing. Just building, because I'm not even sure what I want to do. Yeah, but this is a warm, pretty eye. For those of you who don't know, this is a wet and wild brush, and it was only 99 cent, and I had like six of them because they are so good. And this really makes me want like a peach drink or something. A peach, literally. Especially, oh, peach cobbler. Oh. It's not as sugary as how peach cobbler smells. This eyebrow is irking my nerves. I'm going to go into the Luscious. It's right here. Let's see how well it performs on its own before I wait it. Okay, it's perfect. It is perfect. My peanut butter jelly palette because it's a color that I really like. Um, uh, I don't know if it's called peanut butter, but it's kind of something. And I'm going to use some of these new Morphe brushes too. Uh, and we did get five this month and they totaled at like $30. So I'm going to link the brushes down below how much they cost and all that. You know, because we did talk about them briefly. So, yeah. Okay, my favorite color out the peanut butter and jelly palette is Nuts for you. Nuts. I just want to pick up that color. I'm not into like a lot of, I don't know, bright stuff lately. Just been neutral. And I'm just going to put that into my outer V. I'm going to concentrate most of it into the outer part and then just bring it in. Prime the skin with the LA Girl Pro Prep. And I'm going to put a illuminator in it. Because. I want some, it's really pretty outside, so I want some really glowy skin. And I'm using my all-time favorite, my City Color Complexion. I mean, glowing complexion. I just want to, I'm not going to squirrel it inside the primer. The same thing applies with how I apply my steps. I just want to run it with this sponge. Little dabbing onto my skin. This one, do foundation. Foundation is boring, so I'm gonna skip that. We're just gonna come back to bronzing contour because I don't. I have a video on how I bronze my skin and how I correct and all that stuff, so I just link that down below. Okay, so I'm concealed. I look more than white. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna match that. I'm gonna take my Espresso by LA Girl. And we're going to give my face some definition. I do not have this blending brush or whatever this is, but more for you need it. I feel like you have to be a surgeon when applying makeup because you have to like refine your face and world. Refine your cheekbones, redefine your cheekbones, put marker back into your face. So, I think we need a war for this. My skin is warming up, it doesn't look weird anymore. I'm gonna do it to this side. Now, we need to go ahead and set that under eye concealer. I have found the perfect under eye product that I love, 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 love. Not necessarily for my whole face, but for my under eye. This is e.l.f. White powder, translucent powder, it's elf powder and sheer. It is messy though. I think that's why a lot of people stray from me. That's my cause was musty. So, yeah, I look so washed out. I don't know why. I just look 
super washed out in real life. I do not look like how I'm looking to y'all on the camera. Under my eye. And I think this is ideal for dry skin. I have not had a problem with this. Unlike other setting powders, I don't have a problem with it. It's not going to brighten you up. It's just going to set it just in case you're that girl who doesn't like that super bright under eye. Profusion Contour Palette. I can do a review for y'all for this with this. It's my like, kind. I love my little contour videos where people just into contouring more. I don't know which it is, but yeah, I want to start off with this deeper color right here. And just the bulk of the product like I did with the cream. I want to take it right here. Yeah, that's not a tutorial. That's what we getting ready with me. And as you can see, my face is starting to look back normal. And also, I've been loving a new bronzer. It's by Elf. And y'all, if y'all have not used that bronzer, y'all been sleeping on them. I think it only comes in one style. But yes, y'all sleeping on them. And so next, I'm gonna take the lighter color and just so that uh contour whatever color blends in more naturally I'm gonna blend it above and below I'm gonna take my large fluffy brush from Thyra Cosmetics and use my mineralized skin finish in medium plus and just take this and just line it right all over my face it might look a little too light but it works perfect for me, I'm still gonna brighten up my under eye, maybe just a smidgen more. I don't know. Maybe. I'm gonna take this Wet and Wild Contour Palette. I'm hitting pan on that baby. And I'm just gonna take this and just lightly like dust it under my eye just to refresh it and wake it up. Oh, and I'm also using a Morphe M438. It's not like I'm using all Morphe brushes today. Well, most of them. On this little brush, just kind of even my cheeks out. On the excess powder. I'm also using a new, another new brush from Morphe. It's the um, M510 to highlight. I'm going to go into this highlighter. And I might use this one as a blush so we can get the glowing that's going on. Right. Wait a my eye brush. Let's see if this one do me right. Yes, that brush. I think I'm going to not highlight it with it anymore. This brush does amazing. We don't have this little brush from Wait a while you need. It's like a flat brush. I think it's uh, for blush. I find it highlights the hell out of my face. Right. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with the face part. Now we're going to finish up these eyes and put a lip color on them. So we're going to go back into the sweet, sweet, peach, sweet peach palette. And I'm thinking about Summer Yum for the bottom lash line. No, uh, Peach Pit, my bad. Lash line. And I'm using a Morphe 508. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Cosmetics, I guess it's a shader brush. And I'm going to take Prairie and Summer Yum and kind of smoke that out. Third for my tip. I added some blue liner from LA Girl and I'm still gonna put on some Mad Sensational. I think I'm gonna stick to no falsies today. In this look, I'm gonna do a blue dip. That was why I put blue on my waterline. 
so that we can have some color contrast. So I won't be so neutral. It'll still be a little festive. Now, I think blue is trending right now anyway for the summer. So yeah. Let's get this lip on popping. What I'm gonna do though, my lips feel too dry. What I'm going to do is put a little of this on my lip. Yes. Now they get extra dry. And I need to go on cracking because y'all know them color pop. Lipsticks are very, very, very dry. So here we go. You like put on your makeup and you think about food. I think about a blue now later. This, I. I don't know, some came over me and thinking about blue thing on that later. And it's so crazy because these ColourPop lipsticks don't smell like anything. I like the Milani and the uh, Jordana ones. I think I have been loving this Urban Decay all night. Alright guys, thank you for getting ready with me. Chicella, Chicella, Chicella. Yeah. Chicella style. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Thank you guys for waiting on this video. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye, babies.